Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many app developers encounter during the submission process. Our viewer is facing an app store rejection due to an invalid bundle error. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. If you're receiving an invalid bundle error from Apple, it usually indicates that some dynamic libraries are missing from your app's bundle. Let's start by checking your app's dependencies. You mentioned using the O2L My App command to list the frameworks in your app. This is a great first step. Make sure that all the frameworks listed are included in your project. Next, ensure that all frameworks are properly embedded in your Xcode project. Go to your project settings and under the General tab, check the Embedded Binaries section. If you are using Carthage, make sure that you have run Carthage Update and that the frameworks are correctly linked in your build settings. Finally, after making these adjustments, try submitting your app again. If the issue persists, double check the paths and ensure that all required libraries are included in the final build. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. One user faced a similar issue when updating their app. The problem was linked to a third-party library that needed an update to align with the current architectures and SDK. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the invalid bundle issue, open your archive from the organizer. Check the product folder and open the project app. Make sure there are no .exe files in any of the folders. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the App Store rejection due to an invalid bundle, the user found success by enabling the option to always embed Swift standard libraries. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.